you guys we got some new pets on the other side of the house some of y'all might already know what they are but if you guys haven't watched my last video i did put it or my last 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 video i did put a sneak peek at the end they're making some noises over here but we're about to feed them and i think i'm gonna let them out for the first time i hope they don't run away dave if they run away i'll get them with the red rider it's no biggie <laughs> no. then we can have chicken and dumplings with biscuits you just gave it away <laughs> Well, you know what? The thumbnail will probably give it away. I don't know what I'm using for a thumbnail yet. I didn't give nothing away. I just simply said chicken and dumplings with biscuits. You gave it away, actually. Y'all, we got some chickens out back. Hello. Hello, girl. Which one do y'all want to be ate first? No. No. Let them run free. They're not meant to be cooped up. It's not my responsibility to get them back, though. So the past four or five days, I've been sticking my hand in the coop and feeding them just like this. That way they know to come to me, hopefully. So this darker one right here is the sweetest one. She'll let you just pick her up. And Luke named her Feather Necklace because she looks like she has a necklace around her neck, which is actually very legit. It's funny how kids can be so observant when it comes to small detail. This lighter one here, um, I was gonna let Jake name him, but I don't think he has much interest in naming the chicken. I was like, what do you want to name it, KFC? So I'm gonna name this one KFC on Jake's behalf. And this one over here is Biscuit. She's the first one I named, and I don't know why I like Biscuit. I just like Biscuit, and she was the middle colored one. But as you can tell, they're super like friendly and they're pretty comfortable already and they've only been here for about five days. Hey baby! And not to mention I've, let's see, they've been here for five days and I've gotten five eggs. This feather necklace has been the egg layer so far. Do you see that lump on the roof right over there though? No. Oh. You know what that is? That's the lizard. That's the lizard I sniped two days ago. I how do, I can't get up on the roof. Uh oh, there goes Redneck. He's on hot pursuit. Redneck. I can't get up there. Yeah. Luckily, that one I just got, I headshot him, so he and rolled off. Done. Look at all the chickens sticking together. I love it. Well, here's me a convenient chair. This is so biscuit was like my favorite one, but now feather necklace is my favorite. Just because she's so easy to hold and she comes right to you. This one right here, the lighter colored one, that one took a few days for her to eat out of my hand. She was very spooky and just kind of resistant when it came to coming close to me. This one's the best. She's not coming in the bed. I love her, oh my gosh. I love them so much. Redneck, how do you like your chicken cooked? Fried? He actually doesn't even really mind them at all. Come here. I love them so much. They're so cool. So we did film a little bit. I actually didn't plan on filming going to pick them up just because I wasn't sure about like how the people were um, when you go by animals. Sometimes people don't like being filmed. But we went to this place. Do you remember what it was called? Pasture 714. Pasture 714. And it was incredible. They had the best dogs. I wanted to take home their dogs so bad. But they had thousands of chickens. Now I'm going to go ahead and play some of the clips for you guys when we were there picking up our three children. You guys, we are picking out some chickens for the backyard. We bought a chicken coop and we are ready to have some. I want to get older chickens just so I can have eggs immediately, but we just showed up and there's so many chickens here, I don't even know what to do. They just all went that way because we have to run around and try to catch the ones that I want. Yeah, let them come back out while we're sitting here filming. It's like the chicken train. Come in and film. We need a 
pick a chicken that has like the most white on its butt because I want to be able to tell them apart. Look at the one up there. She's the queen. <laughs> we, need, we need like that big shrimp net. The big shrimp net, the long pole, the big net. They know we're after them now. It's okay, chicken. She's getting ready to lay. That's why she's up there. She's like, I got an egg I need to drop. We might have to team work and corral them. Should I just put this one in the box? Yeah. Uh oh, he's bringing a dog. I don't know if he's gonna. I don't know if you he can hear me right now. Hold on, I'm gonna put this one in the box. <laughs> this is hilarious. Kelly Young, the chicken girl. Just flatten that down with your hand. It fit in there perfectly earlier. Uh, okay. She's already friendly. She's cool. Stay. Uh oh, he's got one. Stay. Oh my god, this is the most fun I've had all week. All right. Oh, he's got one. Is this a, is this a white fluffy butt? Yeah. It's a younger one, no? They're all the same age. This is this one's like a caramel color one. Now you want a dark one? Yeah, the darkest one you can get. Oh, she just let you pick her up. I think that one though looks just like the other one, the first one. Yeah. Let's see. We can see if we can get a darker one. Yeah. There's a dark one right there. Which one of y'all want to come home and be a famous YouTube chicken? Which one? You want to catch and cook? Yeah. A lot of good eating. You got another one? I was over there making... I don't want to make this man run around and grab all the chickens. This is what you'll, you'll get right here. Holy mackerel. Look at the color of that egg. They're very pretty looking eggs. Yeah, they are. Aww. Normally when they get older, they get even crazier. So these are the craziest chicken I've ever They like to choose boxes in the beginning. They like to just lay in one box. And then as more start to lay, they start laying in all of them. Look at the chickens' heads through the pen. What? Like, let me out! He's standing on top of the other chicken. Oh my gosh, we should have got that. That chicken had to be standing on the other chicken in there. All right. They can't fly. Uh, oh, should we clip their wings at all? No, no, they're not gonna go nowhere. Though. If you just, you just want to lock them in like a cage or whatever you're gonna. If you have a coop, just leave them in there for like probably like a week, and then you can just open the door and they'll go back in there every night. So leave them in there for like a week. Yeah. Okay. We that got a good coop. So we have this random chicken that I don't know whose it is, but it's been in our yard and it's been roosting like in the trees in the back. We've been trying to catch it, but we just can't. When you bring these birds, they'll probably like see them eating the food and it might come down and start eating it and you might have another chicken. <laughs> yeah. Food. Wherever you want them to go, just put their food and they'll go. Okay. Oh my gosh. We gotta come up with some creative names for these guys. Oh, looks the best for that. Okay, so all those chickens we just saw are five months old, which is insane. So the whole chicken life is new to me. Like, those chickens are huge for five months. I'm like, I, I me not knowing anything really about chickens, I thought those would be like two years old. <laughs> but they're five months and they're already laying eggs. Um, but right now we're gonna go to another chicken pen and look at some chickens that are a little bit older. Sorry about the bumps, people. Yeah, it's a little bumpy out here. Running over some cow pies. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. 
All those chickens made me so happy. All right, so before we get to this other chicken pen, I wanna show you guys this little baby cow over at the Double C Ranch in Bunnell, Florida, our new lease. Oh, look at this dog. Um, this is like the only baby cow at that lease that will let you go up and, it'll, and you can pet it. Don't, I don't wanna run you over, cut through here. Yeah. Susie Q, hi, honey. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh my gosh. Every time I'm on your ranch, I want to pet a cow and I finally get to do it. Yeah, All the I'm other ones up. are so scared. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Gosh. All right, we need to get a picture. Is that bird poop on her? Yep. Now yeah, them cowbirds will stand on her back. Oh goodness. Don't Susie, where are you Susie. going? She's like, Daddy. She's camera me. shy. Susie Q. Susie Q. We, we'll get something for her to make her stand Susie. still. <laughs> you want some corn? <gasps> Did you eat corn? Oh yeah. She's like, yeah, she's like, I, I want the whole bag. Listen, don't step on my feet. Susie Q. <laughs> she's Listen, like, does he got it? Hey, I got it right here. <laughs> she's Listen, being hard at it no now. No one said cows are smart. <laughs> yeah. She's let right her here. come to you. Hi. Look. You smell it? Aw, she remembers you. Well, so, <laughs> Susie. Used to, so you used to feed her from a bottle? Put your hand yeah. down. Put your hand down, yeah. So we just got a chicken coop in our backyard. I might have to trade that in for a pasture. <laughs> Hello. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but sooner or later. This, one, this one's about to mm -hmm. attack. <laughs> now 45, she's just uh, number 40, what is she, 46? I think that's what her number is, number 46. <laughs> so that's how you keep track of them? Yes, sir. I mean, I, I would always know her, you know what I mean? Because yeah. she's so docile i know all these ones you know by any of them but i just went ahead and put a tag in them just in case they get on the other side of the fence right and someone else if they if they did get on the other side of the fence you know don't brand them uh we will brand our heifers but not when they're this size yeah don't bite me oh i want to get cows don't bite <laughs> until they bite they me. don't have Listen, upper teeth i get bit by everything <laughs> wait i want to get don't, a picture you don't want them to step on your foot that's no. what you don't oh, that's what, yeah, Susie. <laughs> Dancing around I raised her from a calf, but her mama, I raised her, I raised her mama from a calf, I raised her from a calf, and she's actually got a calf right there, so technically I'm a grandparent. Oh. <laughs> Dalton the cow grandpa. <laughs> Hi, hello. You're the stubborn one, huh? Yes, you are. She's like, where's the corn? <laughs> I know it's on your hand somewhere. Yeah, Susie Q. Oh, that's a good girl. Just don't step on me, okay? <laughs> what a calf like this is Martha. What they bring? A dollar fifty a pound or something? Two dollars? No, a dollar fifty if you're lucky. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, if yeah. You get a dollar fifty. You, I mean, you're the smaller good. the calf, the more it brings. Right. Actually. Listen, this dog is running with my truck. It's the chicken dog. It's the chicken dog. Hello. She's a pretty dog. Hi. Look at her. <laughs> what is it, a collie? Or it's an Australian? It's a mix, a border collie, Australian collie. Yeah, it looks like an Australian and a border collie. And here we are. Are you the chicken dog? No, we don't need a chicken dog tip. So how much for the dog? <laughs> Go get your Frisbee. He probably lost it somewhere in the tree. Where did I put that frisbee? Hold on. His gears are grinding. Go get the frisbee. Go get the frisbee. I don't have it. He's got a bunch of jobs on the property. He uh, Whenever we move the whole coop, we move this about every week or so. So when we move it, we have to take this netting down so the chickens can kind of go anywhere. So what he does is he actually will round them up and kind of circle the coop and keep all the chickens kind of bunched up as we move it. So these are, how old are these chickens? These chickens are like a year and eight months old now, I'd say. So you wouldn't want to put, you wouldn't want to put one of these with two of those? You could, because, because you're kind of taking them away from their flock and joining them. Like, you wouldn't want to 
put those over there and kind of let them claim their spot and then add a new chicken that's when the problems arise but with only three four chickens you're really not going to have an issue it's more once you have like 13 or 14 chickens because then all of them can can gang up on one but when you only have a few chickens it's usually not an issue okay babe you got one at your feet she's trying to say hi So needless to say, that dude had a lot of chickens and I got three. So yesterday I actually went spear fishing and shark diving and got me some mackerel, as you can see here. Um, yeah, I filleted it last night, but I heard that chickens love fish carcasses. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a filleted Spanish mackerel and see how they like it. These chickens are like little raptors. Like they will eat probably anything. Every time I come out, cause I feed them, they're like, they're at my feet, like looking at my toes, like, where's the food? Where's the food, mom? All right. Hello, Redneck. All right, all right. Ah. <laughs> Those are my banana trees too. They are doing very well. Here's the coop. All right. Chickens. Where are you guys at? Oh, you guys hanging out in the shade? Come on. I know y'all want it. No, Redneck, not you. Oh, dang it. Redneck, you're gonna scare the chickens. Hold on, I have to get rid of Redneck. All right, good boy, stay over there, Redneck. Oh, yes. They love it. I didn't know y'all would like fish. How cool is that? Eating chickens, fish carcasses. Oh, that <laughs> that was hilarious. So it's pretty cool. We gave the chickens an avocado the other day and if they get their beak or face really dirty, they'll wipe their face in the grass to clean themselves. They're surprisingly really clean animals from what I've observed. Did you see her just wipe her face on the grass? So cool. Oh my gosh. So this chicken has a piece of the fish and the other chicken wants it. And it keeps running it, running around with it, with it in its mouth. That is hilarious. I want to see if I can get closer. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Y'all better go get it. That is too funny. You can't swallow that whole thing, silly. Oh my gosh, are you gonna do it? <laughs> that chicken is such a porker. So the one running away with that piece of fish, shh, shh, shh quiet. You have a whole carcass right there. Like the whole carcass is over there. So that's my like main egg layer over there, that really dark brown one. Uh, do you guys think chickens can choke on stuff? Because I'm kind of concerned. Hey, hey, stop it. Like, should I pull this out of her mouth? Okay, oh, well, I guess that answers my question. Good girl. 